When Matt stepped in the door in his first practice in the fall, the coaching staff was looking at the team for the first time, and it was clear that Matt was probably 32 out of 32. Um, but every day after the end of practice, he asked me, you know, coach, what do I need to work on? Whatever I told him, I don't know how, but the next day that was not an issue. 32 straight days, 32 straight issues, and he figured it out. Uh, and he exceeded the expectations. His development was, was actually something that was, uh, uh, I don't want to say rare, but it was, uh, uh, it was an exaggerated development. He was very raw when he came in. He, you saw right away that he found the hardest worker on the team the day he walked on campus and tried to keep up with him. And it got to a point where he passed the hardest worker. Matt's greatness on the field really was that he was process oriented. Baseball's a game, as you guys know, that is really more result oriented with, you know, compiling your numbers and figuring out kind of how your season was at the end. But Matt was really one of the few guys that was more process oriented. So he gets his opportunity, we're at Delaware State, he gets his opportunity because one of our players misses curfew, late for curfew. And we've been preaching like hard work and effort is gonna be rewarded. And my assistant coach talks me into starting Matty Bar. He's on base a couple times. Uh, too many positive things happened in the game with him being in it. And that's how he started becoming a regular player for us. There probably wasn't enough appreciation of the type of player and leader he was until you were able to end the season and look back and say, wow, this kid really went all out every day, gave us everything he had, and actually not only got better as a player, but made other players better. Socially, yeah, everybody loved him. He had a tremendous personality. And when everybody, when everybody has 24 hours in their day, somehow Matt had 36 hours in his day to accomplish everything that he wind up, wound up accomplishing, you know, in his four years here. He, you know, becomes, or leaves FDU, I believe, as the all-time hits leader at the time, maybe the stolen base leader, uh, one of the best players to ever put on an FDU uniform. One of the things about Matt is that it, it, I'm a privileged and honored not only to have coached him, but he worked with me in my organization for five years after he graduated. And the thing that I tell people about Matt is that he's really what I call a renaissance kid. It is my honor and pleasure. It is now my honor and privilege to officially induct. To induct Matt Marr. Matt Marr. Into the FDU Knights Athletic Hall of Fame. Into the FDU Knights Athletic Hall of Fame.